For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. We set out to do a lot more than just create another game that has more levels and different enemies. We wanted to change the player's experience, give them something that they hadn't had before, um, while still retaining the, um, the feel of Jack and Daxter. That's right. Don't mess with the shit. We wanted to get away a bit from the pastoral, beautiful settings of the original and throw the player into a new place where we really kick up the intensity and throw in a lot of action and a sort of palpable sense of menace. We've been waiting for you. In Jack 2, we were able to build upon what we had created before and go in all new kinds of directions and, and uh, create things that would not have been possible with the original engine because we had such a great starting point to work with. We wanted to really up the ante in a number of different realms. First of all, we wanted to put a lot more things on screen, enemies that were attacking you, things moving around. So the player had the real feeling of being in an inhabited world instead of just a, a pretty world. And that adds a lot more options in terms of gameplay. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. So this story is a much more complex story than the, in the original Jack and Daxter. Um, we're exploring a large number of more adult themes. There's bigger, greater evils around you, and there's betrayal and love. This is not um, just a kid's story. This is a story with a much broader reach. Jack has really done a lot of growing up this game. The plot actually starts out with him spending some time in jail, and he becomes um, hardened. Some experiments have been performed on him while he was doing his time. You should at least be dead with all the dark eco I pumped into you. When he emerges, he's uh, he's definitely changed, and Daxter takes notice of that right away. Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Now we really have the opportunity to really um, develop his persona and his character. There is a very volatile element to this universe, which is the dark eco. And now we start to see how that's affecting Jack. Easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Here we have the evolution of what became Final Jack. Here we started seeing the, the Jack that we're more used to. His hair got a bit more weighted down. We still want to keep it long. Actually, we tried the, the buzz cut here. We tried various little looks, the locks on the side, the, the facial hair still is kind of sticking around. We kind of like this kind of look as well with the rebel look and the old uh, headgear and uh, a bit added on. So we can see that Jack's been through some combat. He's uh, beefed up and he's ready to go. It took us a long time to find the right voice for Jack, but Mike Irwin, I mean, if there is a person in the real world that is Jack, it's Mike Irwin. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. Max Casella has returned to reprise the role as Daxter, and he is just a goldmine for us. Ah, blow it out your ear! You were bottle-fed, weren't you? He's a bit grown up now because he's now in the big city, and there's a lot of big city vices for him to experiment with. Wait, I've seen you before. Shh, I'm Tess, play along and I may be able to get my hands on a few secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. The abuse of Daxter is the fun of this game. <laughs> Once again, being your friend sucks. Daxter is strange enough, but uh, Pecker and Onan, these characters are crazy. They're, they're out of this world. I am Pecker. Yes, yes, I know. My mother, she was... Very vindictive. We have characters who are multidimensional in this game. All of them have character arcs. They all have goals and they have things that they want, and it all ties together back into the main story. The reason the uh, animation looks more sophisticated this time around is because there's been some tweaks to the engine. We're also just being a lot more clever about the way we uh, allocate memory and design our levels. I'm just getting started. Our characters now have upwards of 10,000, 12,000 polys in them, whereas in the first game, the original Jack and Daxter, uh, the characters would have maybe two or three. The bottom line is what we are doing now in real time on the PlayStation 2 took an entire room full of computers hours to do as little as five years ago. We have a much greater amount of detail uh, in the new game. We have 
rooms, single rooms, single locations in our game that have larger polygon counts, that are equal polygon counts to some of the entire levels in the original game. Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? We've got full-on facial animation with uh, multiple blend-shaped targets. We have dynamic animation of things collapsing and blowing up. We have uh, particle systems animating dust and explosions. And all this stuff is being done in real time by our code on the PlayStation 2. Step aside, Jack. Let the game player do his stuff. It's always been the push at Naughty Dog to try to create the next big experience, create the next big thing. And we're very, very fortunate that we have amassed a talented group of people that can achieve that. One really important addition to the Naughty Dog design team is Yasuhara. Yasuhara comes to us from Sega. He's been working on titles that changed the industry radically. He's not only incredibly fast, incredibly detailed, and really talented, but he has a new idea set, and he brings with him a really fresh way of looking at games. Ah, uh, The locations in Jack 2 are just f***ing huge. I mean, it's out of control. It's, there's one location that is 25 times larger than our largest location in the original Jack and Daxter. So the amount of gameplay and immersion that you're going to get inside of these environments is just going to blow your mind. There's so much more of everything. There's more enemies. There's more in-game characters to interact with. There's, everything is just more. Jack has tons more moves. He has a hoverboard. He has weapons. And then there's other stuff that you'll get to see when you play the game. What's great about working with Naughty Dog is these guys are not happy just to have their game look as good as their previous game. They want to set a new standard for animation or artwork or programming on every single game that they do. We're always trying to push the envelope on both on a technical and artistic scale. We have far better creature intelligence. We have far better cinematic sequences. We have far bigger and far better worlds to explore, locations to go to, a humongous city. Jack 2 is really a landmark title for Naughty Dog. We're really trying to create a cinematic feel that will set the new standard that other games will try to emulate. I think the PlayStation 2 and Jack and Daxter are really pushing entertainment into a new direction.